Woo! Coming into your YouTube airwaves, I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I know this is an NBA video, but the NFL has been amazing. The Dallas Cowboys got destroyed by my main man, Jordan Love, who's starting his career off better than Aaron Rodgers did, better than Brett Favre did, because Brett Favre got benched in his first year starting in Green Bay. And Jordan Love won a playoff game in his first year starting, something the great Aaron Rodgers couldn't do. Told you guys he was a beast. So, Without wasting any more of you guys' time, you came here for NBA. Let's get right into it. So before I begin this video, guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment, guys. Thank you. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's break down this five-game slate. Now, on this five-game slate, guys, let's go look at the games we have on tap. We got Chicago at Cleveland, guys. I look at this game as a slower-paced game, and you have... Four players in this game that I believe that can get you 30 or more fantasy points. That's Donovan Mitchell, who has 70-point potential on any given night. You have Jared Allen, who has 55-point potential on any given night. You then have Levine, who has 45-point potential on any given night. And you have DeRozan with another 55-point performance on any given night. Now, that's when they hit their peak. Now, on the downside, DeRozan can be 20 fantasy points. Levine can be 18 fantasy points. Um, Jared Allen, I would say on an off night, could get you 25 fantasy points. And Mitchell on an off night could get you 38. But in this matchup, I see Mitchell getting about 50. I see Allen in this matchup getting about 45. I see Levine getting about 32. And I see DeRozan getting about 38. And I see Vucevic, who is also someone that can get you 55. I see him getting about 38 to 40 fantasy points. Next, you got Boston at Toronto. This is going to be an up-tempo, fast-paced game. And Toronto should have more energy at this point than Boston. Boston had played two games in two nights when they played Milwaukee a few nights ago and they had to rest their players in the second half because they were just getting lamb blasted. I don't know if Boston's going to have a lot left, but with Toronto not really being that good of a defensive team and Boston is a much superior team and Boston might not have Jalen Brown. So that might even this out a little bit. So I love Barnes to get 55 fantasy points from Toronto. I also like Schroeder to get about 28. I do like I do like um, a couple players from Toronto. I do like Siakam, but I like Porzingis from Boston. My favorite player from Boston is going to be Porzingis. I think he can get 55 in this matchup. Toronto has a center that's only $4,500 because they're starting center Pulte is out so that backup guy that's forty five hundred dollars he put up 30 fantasy points in his last performance i do like him and from boston i like Derek white to get 35 to 40 because i think he plays the passing lanes next you got miami and brooklyn this is a game where miami's players are all under six thousand dollars except for bam Adebayo because they're phenomenal young player Jasquez is not going to play in this game and I don't think Jimmy Butler plays so you have a bunch of inexperienced players Bam is 9,000 I think Bam goes crazy on the Brooklyn side I'm scared to play Brooklyn guys I mean you watch Brooklyn play you've seen their fantasy numbers they're all over the place one minute Bridges can get you 50 next minute he gets you 17 I can't play guys that's Jekyll and Hyde and they're Jekyll and Hyde to me but Miami, you can go get a lot of their players are like between 4'7 and 5'6, and they all can get 30. I believe almost everybody from, from Miami will get 30 in this matchup. Next, Indiana at Utah is going to be a faster pace game. And Indiana does not have Halliburton. But what I've seen is that they're still scoring 130 points, but they're playing better defense because the backup, because both of the guys play a point guard. They play phenomenal D. You have a great defensive team out there now, and they still can shoot the lights out. They're still passing the ball, and Utah plays fast. This game could be a 260 to 270 point game, but I love the Utah stack. That's playing in altitude. I'm not sure how Indiana's gonna handle altitude. Utah is not as bad as Denver, but it's close. I'm a truck driver. I have drove through Utah. The air is a little thinner than it is where Indiana plays their ball. Oklahoma City at LA. 
Oklahoma City is clearly superior to the Los Angeles Lakers. They're in a world of hurt right now. And if Shea Gilders Alexander plays, Shea Gilders Alexander and this OKC team is going to just blow the doors off the Lakers. I think that what will make the Lakers be able to keep it close is if Russell can duplicate his last performance. He put up 60 fantasy points in his last game. So if he could duplicate that, they could keep it close. But Davis has to step up. The key to the Lakers is not LeBron. He's 38 years old. He can't carry you for every game. He can maybe every third game, LeBron can come and carry you and give you 50 to 60 fantasy points. But he's typically a 38 to 42 fantasy point player now at this stage of his career. And Davis has to be a 65 point a night fantasy player. He has to go to where Joel Embiid is, where every night Joel Embiid is off night, he's giving you 55, great nights, giving you 80. Davis hasn't had any 70 and 80 point performances. He is too great of a player to not do that. All right, so now guys, let me just give you the five players that I like. At point guard, the guy that I'm giving you at point guard, guys, I'm giving you Clarkson. Clarkson comes off the bench, and I think against Indiana, they're going to need his scoring because Indiana's going to score. No matter who Indiana play, they're going to put up points. They're going to score at least 115 to 120. But when they're hitting on all cylinders, they can put up 145. So you're going to need Clarkson to match them in scoring. At the shooting guard position, guys, I got to go Tyler Hero. Yo. Tyler Hero could put up 55, 60 points against Brooklyn's atrocious defense. So we're going to go Holla. We're going to definitely go with Hero. At the small forward position, guys, I'm going to try to save you a little bit of money. But I'm going to give you Barnes here. I'm going to save you money at the um, power forward position. If you look at Barnes, he's coming off of two stinkers. Really, four stinkers. Five stinkers. So I think that this is going to be a bounce back game. I think he's going to go crazy in this matchup. And at the power forward position, guys, we're going to go really low. And I'm going to give you somebody who I, I like and someone who I think can do well. Is I'm going to give you jo Jovich. I think Jovich is going to get you 30 fantasy points. And at 4'9", guys, I mean, you can't beat that. And at the center position, guys, I'm going to take a gamble. He's going to also be the boomstick player tonight. Remember I told you that I love Porter from, from um, Toronto? Now, I don't believe he's going to have 40 fantasy points or nothing like that because he is going to go up against... Um, he's going up against Porzingis. Porzingis is pretty physical. And Porzingis has been playing a lot better as far as blocking shots and stuff. But I think this young guy can get us 25 to 30 fantasy points and he's going to also be the boomstick player of the night so this is it guys you got porter jovic barnes hero and clarkson so this is it guys so i'm going to break down the rest of this five game slate guys don't forget to win win that means give people what they want so you can get what you want and guys don't forget to think and ink that means write it down so that way it can come true good hunting on this five game slate love you guys if you made it this far don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also leave a comment thank you guys again Love you guys.